Five hours later, two stops for some drinks in the bathroom, and I made it to Pepsi. It's real beautiful out here today, man. And um, all those doors that are on the other side that I normally get in, they're all full. And I can see right here there's two spots open, so it's a possibility I might just get put in on that side. They're having a little cookout over there. So now that I'm here, I'm gonna check in and I'm gonna use the restroom and then I'm gonna come out, throw this bad boy in the door. And we got another load to pick up. So I don't see anybody. I'm just gonna speculate that they're all on break. I see a woman right there, so I'm just gonna ask her. I got here at 11.55, it's now 12 on a dot, so I'm sure everyone's probably on break. So I'm just gonna go use the restroom and, you know, go open up the back and just wait around till 12.30. I asked the woman, she said she doesn't work there. She's just there for the day, so I don't know what that means. Upon pulling up here, I noticed they were setting up like a little cookout type thing. So they probably got like a little cookout. End of the summer, beginning of the, I don't know. <laughs> it's laced out. So they're having like a little cookout outside. So they were setting up. So I'm sure they're probably most likely all on break about to get ready to eat something after cookout. But I know they still got to work. So they'll be back in, you know, once in like a half an hour pass. So I'm just going to wait around. I was going to open up the back of the trailer, but I don't want to do that. Because sometimes they want to make sure that the trailer is sealed before they accept the load. So I'm just gonna leave it sealed until they let me know what the door to back in in. And for now, I just might just take my break too. So as I come outside and I go back towards the truck, they both guys came out and let me know. They checked me in, signed my paperwork. So I'm gonna be back in the door 14, which is the doors I hate. So let's get it. Door 14, I'm going to be sliding up right there. Yes, I got uh, in this spot pretty good. I only took about one pull up. Move that up the way. What's going on? How you doing, man? I can back this bad boy up in the door. So while that's getting unloaded, I ate my lunch. I already got my next location and my GPS. So that way when I um, pull out the door, I could just close my doors and just head right up out of here. The next location I'm going to, I've never been to this one before. It's my first time going here. I'm not sure what I'm getting. Um, I just know I got my load number and where the load's supposed to be going. So that's all I need to pick up this load. And um, I am upstate, so I am gonna be overnight tonight. So once once I pick up this load, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna fuel the truck up, and then I'm gonna grab you know some dinner and everything, and then I'm gonna go check in at the hotel, cause that's what it is. It's one of those type of nights, baby. Hotel, motel, no holiday, eh? Nah, but uh, yeah, man. So I'm just waiting to get unloaded so we can get up out of here. So this place is was easy to find and you know what's crazy because it's right around the corner from it's uh right around the corner from the uh gas station so when i go out of here 
I go down to one corner and my gas station's right there. So he said I'm in door one. So that's gonna be probably on this side. Nine, nope, so it's gonna be down there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till I get to door one. It makes a little bit more sense so that way I can line up, line up the truck, and then open up the doors. From what I'm looking at right now, it's a lot of space. So it should be no issue getting in any of these doors. Not that it is any other time, but you know what I'm saying? Like the more space, the better. So he said I'm in one. So. Um, door one actually has a trailer in it. So I'm assuming uh, a yard jockey is supposed to be coming in. So, uh, what I'll do is, I'll probably just pull around like that and just wait. Because, um, yeah, <laughs> there's actually a, a trailer in that door. So I'm convinced that that yard jockey's going to throw that in there. And once he throws that in the door, I'm assuming he's going to pull my door, which is door one. Because my door, um... It's on green right now. So he's right there. So he is moving that trailer. So once he moves that trailer out of the door, I want to get up in there. I still didn't open my door yet. I'm going to wait till I get aligned. And before I get to the edge of that spot, and that's when I'm going to get out and shut the doors. But I'm going to let him pull out first. Man, I got a nice straight line, perfectly. Couldn't have been no better. But either way, there's a lot of space right here, so I would have been straight. But I am actually straight. <laughs> so I could just back straight in. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I lined myself up perfect. This place, uh, they want you to slide your tandems, but I see two trucks in the doors and none of them got their tandem slid. Well, being that I got to sign the door quickly and I didn't have to wait much long for this door, I'm hoping I don't have to wait much long to get loaded. So let's back this thing in there. Let's back that thing up. So I did have to I did have to slide my tandems because it wasn't gonna work out the way um I thought it would. Cause he told me when you're unloading it, the clearance is is not that good. So that's the point of having to slide the tandem. So I didn't have to slide them. So now we're good. Yeah, he just pulled that out the door. Look like a bunch of strawberry drinks. So yeah, so now I'm good to go, man. And it's just getting loaded. So I'm good to go. I got my sale. It took about, I'm gonna say it took an hour to, uh, to get loaded. I thought I was sitting here. I, it felt like I was sitting here longer than an hour, though. But nonetheless, I mean, it is what it is. I'm on the clock getting paid, so I was just sitting there chilling. And he came outside while I was doing, and he moved my chalk blocks for me. Let's see what this load looked like. Uh, a lot of drinks. Yeah, I never seen that drink before. That's that's that probably going overseas because one of the companies that I pick up at. Um, that load goes actually goes overseas. Uh. Yeah, I don't know if y'all remember, there's a place where I be um dropping off at and they be giving me drinks every now and then when I go there. That place, 
Those drinks are international. Well, overseas, I should say. Those drinks are overseas. I never see them in America, and you won't see them in America. Oh, look at that. I didn't give me no problems. I just want to double check that this is sealed correctly and securely before I put this seal on it. All right, it is good. I'm going to throw that on there. It's a different kind of seal. I haven't used this one yet. Yeah, once these gloves get real filthy, I'm just going to toss them out. So let me see. I never seen these beverages before. This is the one I, yeah, I seen this one in the last, when the guy jockey was taking that out. It's an energy drink. Seven. Brew energy. Yeah, this is definitely from overseas. Celsius, yeah, this is, this is ours. It's American. But those, I don't see those. I don't look for them either, but you know, you can, you, you, can, you know when something's foreign, when you see it. There we go. So like I said, the, um, the, the, the gas station is right around the corner from here. So I'm going to grab some fuel, some food and snacks for the night. And then I'm checking into the hotel. Sayonara, suckers. So all I needed was 125 in there, so I got my I got my uh, dinner, I got some breakfast to eat in the morning when I head out, some drinks, some snacks, so I'm good for um, the rest of the night as far as food, and I'm also good for the morning because I'm not going to have time to eat breakfast, so I already got 125 in here. So I'm just going to pump 125, and then once I gas up, we out of here, man, we out of here. Now it's, it's hot out here, but it's not hot to the point I gotta take this off. Cause I could breathe through this. But it, it does feel, it, it's kinda hot though. Man, I was thirsty. So we got approximately 27 minutes until we get to the hotel. 27 minutes, so let's enjoy the ride, baby. Room ain't too bad. I got the king size. Got a desk. I ain't gonna sit there though. Got the couch with a coffee table and the TV. And you know what else, yo? Check it out, check it out. I see the pool right there. And it's still nice enough where I could go swimming. Well, pretty decent room, but for the most part, once I'm done eating and showering, I'm gonna be right there. So I'm in the room. I'm about to put up my things. Um, 
get my work clothes out for tomorrow because I like to stay ready so I don't got to get ready. Even when I'm at home, if I ain't got nothing to do the next day, I make sure I just still get my clothes and stuff ready so that way I can stay ready. And then I'm going to grub, I'm going to shower, and I'm going to relax for the night. And yeah, we got to drop that load off tomorrow. So let's get some rest. Good morning, good morning. It's a new day. It might look like a new night, but it's really a new day. Um, I ate my breakfast. I got some coffee right now that I made on my way out of the hotel. Uh, I slept real good. I did not want to get up. It just felt so good. The room was so nice and cool. Um, I did my pre-trip. I'm on duty. Um, I got my GPS ready for where we're supposed to be dropping off this load that we picked up yesterday before coming here. So, I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get back, you know, towards what I'm familiar with. So, yeah, man. Let's go, man. This is going to be, um, I said it's uh, four hours and eight minutes, but I always like to round it up to about four and a half, four hours and 45 minutes because the traffic is very unpredictable. So, I like to round it off. So, it says I'll be uh, at my location by 9-11. I'm going to say I'll be at my location by... I'm going to say 9.50, possibly 10 o'clock. Let's see. Let's see if I get right on that one. So, yeah, man. We ready to go. Let's go drop this load off. <clears throat> So this place wasn't hard to find at all. It was actually easy. I had to check it into that door over there. I never been here, so I didn't want to, you know, bring the camera. Oh, look at that. I ran over a critter. So I'm gonna just open the door, open the uh, the doors right now, because it's so much space. I'm the only truck, that truck's the second truck here. It's just me and him, and there's a truck that's parked way down there. He got his doors open, so I don't know if he's coming in or out. But either way, you know what I'm saying, there's still plenty of space. So, um, I'm gonna open my doors now. But yeah, man, I hit something. I wanna see what it is. There's some guts on my truck. All right. So, doors eight is right over there, so... Let's get up in this door, man. See all that space I got? So I'm up in the door. I was in the door for like two minutes before I got that red light, so I'm glad about it. I heard them drop that plate down so they could just go, you know, ride that forklift on there. So I, I felt that. So I know they're probably going to be getting right to it soon. Um, what time is it? It's 10.39. I should be up out of here. I, well, I ain't going to say when I should be up out of here because I never know. Yesterday, I thought I'd be up out of there and like, 20, half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour, and I was there a whole hour, you know, and that's not even counting the time I took to get checked in, but this one, you don't have to slide your tandems, you just back right in the door, and um, they unload you, so they didn't start unloading me yet, because I don't feel no shaking going on yet, but it's cool, I'm in the door, there's no one, there's only me and another truck right now, so, and I was in the door before him, so I have my next destination ready on my phone, so when I'm done up out of here, I can just press start, boom, bring me right to the yard, and drop off the truck, and that will be my day. But until then, <laughs> we gotta wait until uh, we get that green light to go. So that wasn't too bad of a, um, a wait. Good, a good half an hour, I would say. I was sitting in that door. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all the bird. I don't think I showed you the, the dead bird on my bumper. Man, I'm looking up there, I'm like, wait a minute. That ain't latched correctly. There we go. And here's my paperwork. I'm nice and empty. The weather's bipolar. <laughs> so there's been a change. Now I have to go and pick up a, a, a load. I didn't have a load, but there's a load that got added to today, which I'm fine with. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, all I care about is making my money.
I go pick up a quick local load after this. That's fine with me. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so there's a dead. I thought it was a rodent, but it's actually a bird. Yeah, that's definitely a bird. I'm going to zoom in on that bad boy. It's a dead bird. You can see the guts. I can see the beak. I don't know how it got stuck there, but it did. So I'm good, man. I'm about to go um, pick up this next load. And it's just a, a load that's already ready. So what I'll be doing, I believe I'm dropping this trailer and I'm picking up that load. So let's get it. I just backed this trailer into the spot. It was real tight because the way they're parking this yacht is so tight. And the trailer I'm picking up, it's like four trailers down. So I don't got to go far. Come on. Come on, baby. There we go. Shit, they don't want to come on. I'm only going right there, so I'm just going to uh, leave these right here. I hate these crank candles. Well, this one, I could tell it's a replacement. And it doesn't have, like, that groove where you could just lock the handle in. So the handle is, um, real loose. <laughs> like, not loose to the point of coming out, but it doesn't stay up nowhere. Like, I can't keep it straight and just, you know, because that's behind me. So I have to make it do what it do. So that's why I look crazy doing this. If it wasn't for me having this little bit of space, I might have been able to. But that's going to take me too long. So I'll just finagle it like this. I don't know why they don't make them with buttons. A lot of traffic going on out here. So they left my paperwork right here. So just gotta go back to the yard. I hate tangled wires. This one has more space. More space and easier to come up. There we go. Just gonna go to the back now and just check and make sure there's a seal on it. Oh, wait a minute. I don't see no seal. All that's paper. That's paper that's probably got to get dropped off tomorrow. I might be taking that out. And that usually goes to New Hampshire. So I'm going to shut this back. I know it's paper in there. Because there's times I pick these up and it'd be empty trailers. So this is it. So now we're going to head to the yard. But what I'm thinking, this might be just a lot of paper. This is paper coming out of it. They didn't even shut it all the way. This is up. So I'm going to make sure it's shut all the way. All right, yeah, this is paper. It's so tight. <laughs> so we got this bad boy hooked. The other one's dropped. So now we're good to go. It's time to drop it off at the yard. And to the home I go. I just locked my truck up. I got my bag with me. Yes, yes, yes. 
So it was a real good past few days. I didn't have no issues, no errors. Um, it was pretty smooth, man. Listen, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like, share, please subscribe, and come back for the next video. I'll see y'all then.